Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the screw, nut, and washer kit. This is going to come with a whole bunch of different hardware to make sure that you're never without a backup plan for any kind of job that you might be doing, whether you're an RVer or you just want to have this for your at-home uh, garage use or just to have spares around the house. It's a really nice set that comes with a lot of very common hardware that you can find in a lot of different settings. So I'm not going to go and list out everything that comes in the kit. You can find that description on our uh, product page here at eTrailer.com. It tells you the lengths and sizes of each of the things, but I'm just going to kind of go over generally what you get here. So the first thing that you're going to see is that it does come in a case. There are two sides to it. So just pick whichever side is going to have the stuff that you need. And it does come with a little guide on the inside here, kind of like a box of chocolates. <laughs> it has the sort of guide as to what sizes are in each of those slots. Now the case is nothing fancy, and I would say um, if you're super concerned about keeping everybody separate, do not lift the dividers out of there. Once you do, everything is going to collide into each other and it's going to be really hard to separate everything out without going through each box individually. Trust me, I know. So let's take a closer look and open it up. So we've just got some little tabs on the sides there. Again, just a little sheet to kind of help us figure out what is what as far as the sizes. So you've got pan screws or flathead screws, countersunk screws, a lot of different names for things. Uh, you also have oval head, um, also um, I think you maybe call these button head screws. That might be the wrong term. That's just kind of what I think of them as. And of various sizes, again, so that's what we're going to have here. Uh, usually the lengths are between half an inch up to an uh, inch and a half. And you've got number six, eight, and ten, also quarter inch screws. So we flip it over to the other side. You've got machine screws here. Make sure I'm getting the right ones. There we go. Machine screws, nuts, and washers. The washers do come in little bags just to make sure that they don't slip underneath the dividers. So as I said, you don't want to lift these dividers out of there because uh, they're kind of, it's all connected to each other. So once you lift one, uh, you kind of have to take them all out and then everything just kind of collides in together. Uh, it took me a while to get everything organized back to where it should have been. So trust me, you don't want to move it around if you don't have to. The dividers are, um, you know, they're just plastic. They, they kind of sit inside here. So uh, if you do want to shift them over, you can kind of just wiggle them around uh, to get them to move if you need to. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it for our look at the hardware. One last thing I will do is give you a measurement of the case just so you can know how much space it'll take up. So lengthwise we're looking at about 10 inches, about 10 and an eighth. And then the box itself is about six and seven eighths inches. If we include the handle it's about eight and a quarter. And then about two and three quarter inches deep. So it should be pretty easy to stash away in a toolbox, uh, maybe put underneath the seat of your truck, um, put in your RV in a nice compartment somewhere. Really shouldn't take up too much space. That's pretty much all there is to it for our quick look at the screw, nut, and washer set. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right set for you. We do have a lot of other tools and parts here at eTrailer.com, all kinds of stuff for your uh, cars, trucks, RVs, boats, and more, so be sure to check them out, and thanks for watching.